Technology today is changing at a phenomenal rate. There's been a transformational change, and that rate of change is ever increasing. Every year there are new technologies, chips are endowed with new features, which need to be reflected in the curriculum. The more we can do to help people be more skilled with relevant skills, the more folk will attract into working in technology areas. It's not just about knowing things, it's about being able to apply them as well and being familiar with the tools and techniques that they might see in industry. Access to the kinds of IP and technologies and tools that ARM provide is, is I think, fundamental to this. ARM, as a company, provides the technology to enable people to interact with each other and with the devices and systems around them. ARM technology is used from the very smallest systems that you might find in hearing aids all the way through to the, the biggest high-performance compute systems on the planet. 70% of the world's population is engaging with ARM-based products and devices in their daily lives. ARM has a unique insight into the kind of skills, knowledge and, and behaviours that are required in the modern workplace. We need to work with educational institutions, with our industry partners, with governments and the third sector to accelerate the pace of learning and match it to the need of the modern workplace. ARM has invested massively in helping educational institutions by supplying them with the latest technologies from the ARM ecosystem, be it IP, software or hardware technologies. The relationship between ARM and the university has been going on for well over a decade now and really was started by the opportunity to question our assumptions and to see whether or not our academic research uh, really stood up to uh, industrial scrutiny and whether or not its outputs could really make a difference. But also to give our, our students and our researchers the opportunity to get more connected with a company like ARM. We've had 30 plus um, long internships uh, where our staff and students have had an opportunity to spend a significant amount of time at ARM um, engaging with their researchers and their engineers. My research team at the University of Athens is now a member of the ARM Academic Access Program and ARM has provided access to CPU models, to other hardware IP models so that we can evaluate our research ideas about the performance the energy and robustness of CPUs on real ARM CPU IP. We make a real investment in these relationships and what they facilitate because the company sees so much value in terms of the interactions and what we get back in filling gaps in our roadmap, in recruitment eventually, and in just staying engaged with the directions of academic research to help with the development of our own products. Our flagship educational product to universities worldwide is the Education Kit. The Education Kit gives educators worldwide an out-of-the-box experience. It contains lecture materials, lecture slides with notes, lab manuals with solutions, software tools, and hardware as well from our ecosystem partner. ARM Education Kits are freely available to any university. I started working with ARM because one of my PhD students was looking for financial support. My student was able to work at ARM for nine months and on a project that was directly related to his dissertation. As a result, we were able to really understand technical issues that often can get swept under the rug when you work with a less detailed simulator. That initial collaboration blossomed into a much longer term relationship and I think it's been beneficial to both sides. I'm a PhD student at the Bio and Spider Robotics Lab. My area of interest is embodied intelligence, especially within the hand. ARM has been a great company to support my PhD. They have lots of connections to experts in related fields, and they've been great at supplying us and supporting us with their key technologies. Since we work with integrated systems, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. This way we can focus on developing, say, the passive elements of our hand, and then the integrated sensing and computational aspects, we can fall back on the experts and connections from ARM. We host a Fugaku supercomputer, and we do top research in supercomputing. It was very essential that we are part of the greater RT ecosystem, and that's the reason we picked ARM as far back as in 2013. It really helped us to allow various software and hardware designs to advance Fugaku to its current state. We have built this ACQRFX 
processor, which is not only the fastest ARM processor in the world, but the fastest processor in the world in HPC. Through our direct collaborations, I think we're sparking the potential of technology to move in new and different ways. We hope that we are inspiring young people across the globe to move into careers in technology and to spark their potential. We're giving learners and researchers the same building blocks that are used in industry. We're also seeding academia with cutting edge problems. The solutions of this problem have the potential to impact billions of people positively.